What is up, tubers? This is Super Dale, and welcome, welcome. We got some brewing in the pot right here. As you see in the title, Google TV is cracking down on pirated apps uh, with new policies to block side loading of unverified apps. And so, salute to Luke. He got this on the website right here, cordcutternews.com. I will leave this link in the description. And this is very, very important, all right? And the reason I'm going to tell you that is because we got hustlers out here. We got people who actually use this to save money. And it is what it is. They're cracking down on it. You know, in this article, it gives a timeline on when it's going to start. And... We better be paying attention. Later on, I do have a solution for you. All right? Don't go all crazy because you got you. Uh, we, can, we can get by. We can still get by, and I will get my thoughts and points later on. But let's get to this article. Um, it says, in a significant shift for Android's ecosystem, Google has unveiled a bold initiative to verify the identities of all Android app developers. So if you're a developer of an application, an Android application, we want to know who you are. All right? We want to know your identity. Uh, and they possibly, want, if you're putting something out there, turn you in. We don't know. All right? But they want to know your identity. Extending beyond the Play Store to include apps distributed through third-party um, sources according to Ars Technica. This move aimed at bolstering security could have far-reaching implication, implications for Android TV and Google TV streaming players. All right, so let's stop right there. Your TiVo stream 4K, your Chrome uh, with Google TV, all of your on devices. Yes, including your favorite device, NVIDIA Shield, all right? Anything that's running Google TV, Android TV, all right? That's where they're coming for. And they says, um, potentially curbing the spread of pirated apps by blocking sideloading of unknown apps starting in 2026. Android's open nature wants a hallmark, in a, wants a hallmark of its identity since the touchscreen smartphone era begins nearly two decades ago. It's being reshaped as Google prioritizes safety over unrestricted freedom. It further said, historically, Android openness, meaning open source, all right, meaning you can create whatever you want to create and actually share it with people without no, uh, without you getting in trouble, all right? Allow developers developers to distribute apps freely but it also fostered an environment where malicious software could thrive the play store once called the android market initially had minimal oversight even hosting apps that enable root access exploits over time google tightened its grip implementing rigorous reviews and detection systems to reduce malware despite these efforts siloing apps those all no, those installed outside of the Play Store remain a significant concern with Google claiming they are 50 times more likely to contain malware. All right. For the people who don't know what malware is, it's, 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 it's a program software that actually when you put a certain application onto your streaming device, NVIDIA Shield, um, TiVo, um, Google uh, TV 4K, the On 4K Pro, you name it, right? It can steal your network information, and some of y'all can steal your identity so they can use it in the black market and things like that. So that's why we'll we go from there because I always tell you not to put your personal information on these devices, all right? But it says re remains a significant concern with Google claiming they are 50 times more likely to contain malware. This vulnerability is particularly pronounced on Android TV and Google TV devices where pirated apps offering unauthorized access to premium content like movies like Netflix, Hulu, um, BT, all these applications, but you got these third-party applications that actually display it without you paying any money, all right? Um, such as streaming services or live TV have proliferated. All right, the new developer verification system likened by Google to an ID check at the airport, 
all right, seeks to address the issue comprehensively. Starting in 2023, Google required Play Store developers to, to verify their identities, resulting in a notable decline in malware fraud. Encouraged by these results, Google is now extending this requirement to all developers, regardless of distribution channel. Uh, developers siloing apps, including those for Android TV and Google TV, must register through a streamlined Android develop, a developer console, providing their identity, um, the app package name, and sign-in keys. Only apps from verified developers will be installable on certified Android devices, essentially all devices with Google services, which dominate the Android TV and Google TV ecosystem outside of China. So basically what they're saying, listen, we about to lock this bad boy down, all right? This is about to be similar to Apple, Roku, those platforms right there, and allegedly Amazon, right? When they've been talking about there for like two years. they basically saying we're going to have to know who you are what package you're using, what are you, what, what, what's your application, what are you producing in order for your app to be on a Google TV platform or Android TV platform, all right? Again, this is including an, um, NVIDIA Shield, TiVo, Google um, TV, Chromecast with Google TV, um, Google TV 4K streamer, and, of course, the Walmart on devices, okay? It says um, um, the initiative um, could significantly um, impact the availability of pirated apps on streaming platforms. Pirated apps also often distributed through third-party repositories or direct downloads rely on anonymity to evade detection. By mandating developers on um, verification, Google aims to eliminate this anonymity. Basically, they want to eliminate you being anonymous. That's basically what it is. We want to know who you are, all right? Making it harder for bad actors to distribute apps that bypass paywalls or offer, offer illegal content. For Android TV and Google TV users, this could mean a safer streaming experience with fewer risks of installing apps that steal data or compromise device security. However, it also raises concern about Google asserting, asserting greater control over the Android ecosystem, potentially limiting the flexibility that has long defined these platforms. All right. We continue. Only got a couple more um paragraphs all right these rollouts begin with early access testing in october 2025 um today is august uh 26 2025 so we're talking about less than two months all right they're going to be testing this out followed by a global expansion starting in brazil indonesia singapore and thailand um in september 2026 so that's next year all right so we still got a, a year to go and with full implementation um, targeted for 2027. That could be tw January the 1st, 2027. We don't know. The timeline aligns with legal pressure from Google's Play antitrust case bought, um, bought, brought, not bought, but brought by Epic Games, which mandates that Google allow third-party app stores and content rehosting. While this ruling aims to increase user choice, it could inadvertently heighten security risks by encouraging siloing, particularly on devices like Android TV and Google TV with third-party stores, APK Pure, um, just to name one, um, like the Play Store's robust security layer. So they letting you know, we don't care if you are a third-party application, <laughs> uh, a third-party store such as APK Pure and others, all right? We're, if you want that, we need to know exactly who you are, what you do, and what your app contains, okay? Google Approach mirrors Apple tightly control ecosystem, a move that may alienate some Android purists um, who value the platform openness, meaning, again, open source, all right? That's the whole thing about Android is open source. And we get to go up in there and do what we do, all right? 
on streaming devices where siloing is commonly for assessing niche or region lock content, users may face new barriers if developers fail to comply with verification. The exact mechanics of how devices will enforce this, whether through Play Store or another mechanism, meaning a third-party application store, remain unclear. But the implementation the implications, I don't know why I keep saying implementation. The implications are profound. By creating a white list of verified apps, Google could effectively block unverified pirated apps, enhancing security, but potentially stifling innovation and user's choice on Android TV and Google TV platforms. All right. So this is a nice way of saying there are going to be some changes in about you know, a little bit over a year with Google TV. Now, we all heard about Amazon moving to their own operating system. Now we got Google. And I did a live show on what if Google actually do this. And look what's happening. They're doing it. They're, they're letting us know, hey, within another couple months, we're going to be doing this. And by next year around this time, we're going to actually roll it out you know, to certain countries. And then in 2027, everybody is going to be on this, all right? Everyone will be a part of this. So what does this mean to us? What can this do to us? This can stop all of the third-party applications. Want me to name it? The one with a B, Film, all right, with the P, the Plus, right? Viva and others. You know the Flicks? Vision. This can actually put a stop, lock, seal, no longer being able to silo those apps onto Android TV or Google TV. And this is where my expertise come into play. Because, listen, one thing about us, when they put up a roadblock, if you follow me, there are always another way you can actually still enjoy it. Now, you may have to come out of you know, come out a couple extra dollars on your funds to get a device, but there are devices out here that run straight up Android, which is open source. It's fairly easy, and you will continue to be able to sideload whenever this implementation um, actually rolls out with Google TV and Android TV streaming devices. And so, again, don't worry, all right? Don't worry. I know we all, you know, I've been telling y'all, get on over to the on devices. You ain't got to deal with Amazon. But now we got Google TV, Android, that's doing the same thing as Amazon, that's doing the same thing as Roku, that's doing the same thing as Apple TV 4K streaming devices. It's locking it down, all right? So with that being said, let me give you a couple of devices you may want to think about getting that's running Android, all right? So you this will not, you ain't got to worry about that. So if you're used to them applications, you just may have to find you a new device. And it's cool. We move with the wind. One of the devices right here is Zadu. Y'all know I love Zadu. Zadu will let you silo, all right, because it's only running Android, okay? So you ain't got to worry about uh you know these unverified apps and stuff like that does the do cost absolutely because of what it does the do's are devices that are meant to actually host your media content your movies your tv shows your music all right that way you don't have to deal with plex or nb or jelly fan um unless you just want to but it actually allows you to 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 host it across your network, and that way you can use applications on other streaming devices such as Nova Video Player to actually bring that content up on them devices and watch it in another room. All right, so these will be great for you. Do your research because, yes, these are a little bit more expensive than a $50, a $30, or $20 or $15 device, okay? Another one. Some of y'all are familiar with it. This is the formula device. Right now, you know, you're looking at the formula GTV, which is running 
Google's Android TV. So you definitely don't want this one because this one um, will be running, again, Android TV, which is part of, you know, the service that will not allow you to silo third-party apps. But they have other ones, right? That's running strictly Android. It's a host of them. And so, again, I'm going to leave all of these websites on this video. That way, y'all be able to go into the description and click. And, again, when you go here to Z10 Mini, it's just one of them that allows you to side load with no issue. The only one you have to worry about that you want, be you want, let me repeat, you will not be able to side load is the GTV because it is running Android TV, all right? And so you cannot side load sometime in 2027, all right? So everything else you will be able to work with. Again, you got Buzz TV. These are the last two, the Formula and the Buzz TV are IPTV boxes, but they are running Android. They run in a clean user interface of Android. And yes, you can actually side load applications onto this device. Now, don't be looking at this expensive box right here. They have plenty of them in the lineup. All you have to do is just go and actually search on one. You can even get this one, all right, which is pretty nice. Run an Android. You can sideload your third-party apps. And there are other app. I mean, there are other streaming devices out there um, that you can be able to do the same thing. I just wanted to show you a few of them right here, and that way you don't get too worried. So, again, changes happen. Don't get nervous. It's just that you may have to just pay a few extra dollars if you want to watch your favorite application. I don't know if these developers are going to get away with hiding what they display on some of these applications that we use. And I'm saying we because, yes, I use them uh, from time to time, and it just helps everyone, all right? So, again, I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this right here? Are you upset? Are you mad at me saying, Dale, you had me go from Amazon to now on, and now on is, you know, tripping now. They getting on this horse right here, and they talking about blocking. Hey, I apologize. I did not see this coming. I did do a video saying, what if Google <laughs> did this? And, yes, it has come true, and it's going to happen sometime in 2027 if it don't happen next year. So, again, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any other devices we can get, or you might have a solution. I think you should start your own Plex, your own MB, your own Jellyfin, or use Nova Video Player, or use a device like Does It Do that will help you build your library all right it will help you build your library so i would love to hear from y'all guys if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe to this channel also share this in your groups or share this on somebody group that way we get the information out there thumbs up the video and again leave a great comment i would love to hear from you and let's see where we go from here not google on the bull crap all right guys i'll talk to y'all later peace